everyone, this is Moses, the one who help you if you're interested to studying in Korea. And today video, I'm going to tell you how to open a bank account after arriving in Korea. So let's get it. Guys, one of the things that will surprise you while living in Korea, Koreans don't usually use cash a lot. They use cards and yeah, in the everyday life, we will, it's real to see uh, like a uh, Korean using cars and I was so surprised because in Rwanda, it's the opposite. We use cars almost everywhere and one of the surprising things, there are even some stores here in Korea that don't accept cars. They, you have to use like cards. So surprising. So when you come to Korea, one of the first things you have to do is to make a debit card. <laughs> Guys, you have to make a debit card because you will need to pay everywhere you go. And to make a debit card, you will need a bank account. And with a bank account, uh, because the, um, the, the debit card is connected with a bank account, that's the reason why you will need a bank account. However, before creating a bank account, there are some document or some things that you need. The first one is your passport. The second one is the alien registration card if you are a foreigner here in Korea. And don't forget to bring with you 10,000 Korean won, which is equal like $10 because that money is not for opening an account. No, it's just to, to, like, to debit into your a bank account because before making a debit card you will like the bank will ask you to make a small deposit on your bank account that's why you have to take some money with you and then make your debit card simple as that guys actually creating a bank account here in korea is not difficult because when you want to open a new bank account just go to the bank and at the door you will find a bank officer he will ask you what kind of service do you want at the bank and then just tell him that you want to open a new bank account he will get you a line number to wait because sometimes there is a lot of people and just sit there while waiting and when your turn will come just go and tell the office like the bank worker that you want to open a new bank account and make a debit card they will just give you some document and then sign them and that's all there is no problem with uh, opening a bank account here in korea but this is the hardest part for foreigners when you are like opening a bank account they ask you a lot of questions while filling up the document for example do you like to apply for internet banking do you want to apply for an atm card do you want to apply for a debit card or do you have um, an accredited accredited certificate it's really difficult and hard to understand right so let me explain to you one by one and you will understand it well first of all since you are opening an account to make a debit card of course you have to apply it and if it is possible ask for a postpaid transportation card function to be added and if you add the postpaid transportation card function your debit card become your transportation card without need for another transportation card and also the transportation costs you use the whole month will be withdrawn to your bank account the next month and ATM card also it means it's a function that allows you to withdraw cash uh, at from your card when you are on an ATM card so you have to apply to this also and when they ask you about internet banking the internet banking literally allows you to get all the services you need from the bank online using your mobile phone and with this you can transfer money using your mobile phone you can check your account balance just right away so you have to apply to this as well but the problem 
you need an accredited certificate and an OTP to apply for internet banking. <laughs> if it is your first time to hear about accredited certificate and OTP card, you can think of an accredited certificate as your electronic identification card and it will be issued to you after writing and signing all the document from the bank and the OTP mm, what is the OTP ha <laughs> it's like an online safe mm. think of it as a security device for OTP, you can choose a device or a paper, but the device, it costs about $2, which is 2,000 Korean won. And it might be confusing even if I'm explaining it like this, but please apply for this part also if it is possible. And another thing, let's make a short summary. First of all, apply for the internet banking. Second, apply for the ATM card and add a postpaid transportation card function if possible to your debit card because it's so important. And I will show it like on the screen. If you want to go to the bank, just take a screenshot of it and then go and show it to a bank employee. lastly i want you to remember that like uh, the banks here in korea they work till 4 p.m keep that in mind and another thing like last time i told you to be careful while applying for your phone number you might ask oh should i be careful while going to the bank oh, don't worry because going to the bank is safe and you don't have to be careful because <laughs> the bank are very very safe and another thing when you apply for a debit card it doesn't even take 10 minutes it's really come right away so keep that in mind yes guys today we learned how to open a bank account here in korea how was it was it helpful <laughs> to be honest it's a little bit confusing yeah is it confusing yeah anyway like don't worry if you don't understand you can ask to the bank staff to explain it very well and if you watch also this video a few times more and go to the bank you will really understand what i'm saying so let me end up the video here and see you in the next one